everyone. Vanakkam. I am Vayoni Dimel. This is Boston Lanka News bringing you news, views and entertainment from Boston and USA. Is government getting unpopular over high cost of living and want to delay municipal council elections? Sri Lanka has been rated one of the most improved countries in the world by the Wall Street Journal. Roy De Silva and Sumana Amarasinghe in Hollywood, Los Angeles to be honored for their services for the Sri Lankan film industry. The government dissolved 308 of the 330 local councils on January 6th. Nominations for the elections are to be accepted from January 20 to 27th. The government will allow municipal councils to continue to function for another year. Main opposition, United National Party, strongly opposed the government's plans to delay elections to MCs. The government is aware that it may be defeated in the main municipal councils and does not want to face elections in these areas, said UNP General Secretary Tissa Tanayake. According to some political observers, the government may have a difficult task in winning the local government elections as its popularity is falling, especially among urban areas, due to escalating prices of essential food items. We join with our Sri Lankan correspondent Udara Soisa to discuss more about this subject. Udara joins from Colombo. Uh, Udara, um, it seems like uh, the honeymoon is over for the government. Uh, there were reports that uh, the government is having problems with uh, some municipal council they control and also it's losing its popularity among masses. Yes, indeed. Um, the government is definitely facing a lot of drawbacks when it comes to municipal level politics. Considering uh, that this government uh, theoretically has uh, around uh, two-third majority, uh, it's quite surprising and amazing that the government has lost some major uh, councils such as uh, Mahalagama to Anuradhapura, uh, which are traditionally uh, very nationalistic and um, quite pro-UPFA. Uh, it's also very interesting to note that the cost of living had uh, risen sky high, as people here say, and uh, that had also affected the government popularity among the urban masses. In the village level, it is not very um, affecting because uh, in Sri Lanka, in villages, uh, they have their own system of uh, supporting uh, uh, with food and with other day-to-day uh, -day needed things. However, the open economy is quite strong when it comes to uh, urban areas. Thus, uh, the urban uh, people have, masses have been quite hit by the cost of living. Most political observers would agree that Mahinda Rajapaksa is one politician who could read the pulse of the people correctly. Do you think that somehow um, now the government is disconnected with the people? Uh, it's, uh, it's interesting to note uh, because what the government is telling us is that the government is telling us that this budget is aimed for long-term development. Uh, however, uh, what the people are saying is that they did not get the concessions that they asked for, especially the 2,500 pay hike that the, uh, the government servants uh, were expecting. But the government is saying that the masses have to tighten their belts in short term to uh, get benefits in long haul. So um, definitely there, there is uh, a gap between what the people want and the, what the government can give. And um, the issues when it comes to a cost of living had hit people so hard that they are quite in need of uh, pay hikes and the fact that the government cannot give these kind of uh, pay hikes have uh, caused some popularity, especially among the city masses here in Sri Lanka. Uh, do you think that uh, this will reflect in the elections? Um, I really don't think it would. Uh, if there would be any uh, major debacle for the government, basically because the government is still riding quite high on the war popularity. Number two is the opposition is um, quite uni uh, uh, disunited. Uh, number one, you have the JVP uh, and the UMP not functioning together. Uh, last week in the parliament, I saw that the um, JVP and the UMP, they are attacking each other. And UMP itself is divided. And um, Salas Fonseca led uh, 
Salas Fonseca that DNA will not apparently uh, campaign for this uh, election and JVP will go by themselves. So you see, uh, even in the opposition, it's not very uh, quite united. Although UMP is trying to put a united face, but um, we all know there are fire beneath the surface. Thank you, Udara. That was Udara reporting from Colombo. Sri Lanka has been rated among the most improved countries in the world in the Economic Freedom 2011 Index, a joint project of the Heritage Foundation and the Wall Street Journal. Sri Lanka's score jumped 2.5 points, the largest gain in the region. This higher score is reflecting major gains in trade, monetary and investment freedom. Sri Lanka is ranked 19th out of 41 countries in the Asia-Pacific region and its score improvement is one of the 10 largest in the 2011 index. Sri Lanka's economy is also characterized by poor governance, ongoing political instability that undermines credible reform progress and heavy reliance on foreign assistance. Overall, weak reform efforts have failed to stimulate broad-based economic growth. Love is not blind, it only sees what matters. This is the underlying theme of the latest Sri Lankan English movie, It's a Matter of Love, directed by veteran actor and filmmaker Roy De Silva, ably supported by his wife, Sumana Amrasinghe. The movie will be screened in New York and Washington in the coming weeks to coincide with a felicitation ceremony accorded to Roy De Silva and Sumana Amrasinghe, who have made outstanding contributions to the Sinhala cinema for several decades. The felicitation ceremony will be held in Hollywood, Los Angeles. Keith Ranga is organizing the felicitation ceremony. Boston Lanka spoke with Keith Ranga. He joins from Los Angeles. Uh, Keith, uh, could you please uh, share with us about uh, the event that you are uh, organizing, this uh, felicitation ceremony for uh, actor uh, Roy De Silva and uh, Suman Amra Singh? Uh, it's a pleasure and honor. You know, I knew Roy and Sumana more than 25 years. I have been, I acted about, about three, in three movies. Actually, uh, I'm in Los Angeles, California, and I'm honored. I'm doing in a big heart. Uh, uh, a tribute for them, uh, for a Lifetime Achievement Award, uh, and also their new movie, It's a Matter of Love. Uh, we are, after the award ceremony, we are going to uh, premiere the movie for the first time. It's not released in Sri Lanka. So it's uh, uh, Roy, when I spoke to Roy, he said it's in Hollywood style. And, uh, right now, it's a big lot of publicity in Sri Lanka as they are coming. We are meeting them tomorrow at the airport and picking up. And we are looking forward uh, to have this big event in uh, Hollywood uh, in a nice big theater. Um, and my master, I'm so proud to do this for him. So let's see on January the 16th at 9:30 a.m. Um, Keith, I understand that you were in the film It's a Matter of Time, a Roy De Silva directed in 1990s. Uh, could you please uh, tell us how did you get into films? Yeah, you know, um, I, was, uh, I was a teen, you know, like 13 or 14 years when I met Father Ernest Porutoda. Uh, he came to see one of my school plays. And after the play, he said, hey, you know, Mr. Roy De Silva is looking for young actors. I think you should go. And he gave me a letter. And I went and met uh, Roy yeah, yeah, at that time. And he was casting for the first film, Gedar Budu Nama. And I, I got a little role on that. Then, um, uh, anyway, then second time I got It's a Matter of uh, Time, the first English movie that they did it with the Sri Lankan cast. I am very honored to act in that. And then I got a main role in Love 94. And unfortunately, I migrated to the US. So, but still, you know, my, uh, you know, very gratitude. Uh, uh, you know, I, I thought, I dreamt one day I will do this to him. And thank God I have the courage and a lot of support from the LA community to, the, uh, to do this uh, thing to Roy and Sumana. 
Thank you, Keith. Wish you all the best for the event. That was Keith Ranga from Los Angeles. That concludes our news edition. We meet you again with another news edition of News, Views and Entertainment from Boston and USA. Till then, goodbye.